Dzień dobry and welcome to Code Calling, where we look at current events through the eyes of fellow Polanders. I'm here with Luigi Leoni, a guitarist, professional musician who came from Italy and has been living in Wrocław for one and a half years now. He's involved in several projects, um, one of which is Espresso Doppio. He also is a session musician and regularly performs in and around Wrocław. Hi Luigi, welcome on the show. Hi Daniel. The show is called Code Calling and um, I'll be, um, we'll be discussing some um, newspaper clippings and I will ask you if you buy it or deny it. It's kind of the catchphrase thing. Uh, and, uh, and then you know, we can center the discussion around your experiences and see whether um, it, you know, it rings true or not. So let's look at the first clipping here. This is from uh, Euronews. And uh, the, the article is called Life after lockdown, will live music survive a post-coronavirus world? Live shows are the most obvious casualty, but the bread and butter for many musicians teaching session work, recording and producing work with bands has also dropped off. Yeah, well, in the beginning was not easy because it was totally unexpected and um, in uh, like in in a, in a week i realized that uh, there were no uh, no live uh, live sessions no concerts uh, no guitar lessons so i think for people who works in art and in entertainment was uh, and it is still a, a big issue because the the human contact for us is uh, basic you know we cannot uh, we can we cannot play in uh, clubs we cannot uh, uh, meet people we cannot do rehearsal we cannot uh, teach uh, uh, students uh, so yeah it uh, was uh, like uh, i was really worried whenever i see your smiling face i have to smile myself because i love you yes. so that brings us nicely to the second snippet that um, i want to talk about so this is from the conversation.com and the article is called Five Ways Musicians Are Responding to the Coronavirus Crisis. Ensembles of all sizes, from bands to local choirs and all the way up to symphony orchestras, have refused to let COVID-19 stand in the way of playing together, turning to a host of software platforms to maintain their collective creativity. Of course, uh, the lockdown videos are a to totally different experience. Um, as you know, uh, to play together um, is totally different because uh, you play, you hear the people playing, so there is a kind of feedback, of vibes. So when you hear a musician play, you get also inspired. Uh, so you play also different. And in the lockdown videos, like I like to call, call them like this, you don't have this. You have just in your uh, in ear. You have uh, I don't know the click or the <laughs> just the drummer uh, or the drummer and the bass player. But you you don't see them. Uh, you don't have the 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 feeling that they are playing there with you. You cannot uh, look them in the in the face. Uh, so it's to it's totally different. It's like it's like I would say that it's like to record in studio. No? when you are in different rooms uh, you have the drummer in another room you you hear him through the um, the, the headphones but you cannot see him so it's, it's very dry let's say uh, but uh, it's, it's mm, i would say that is also interesting uh, experience you know because uh, at the end you have a product that is uh, uh, looks very very natural and some people that doesn't know for example how it works to record these videos uh, they think that we recorded uh, all together but actually we recorded separately like uh, during a week or during during two yeah i mean i i always find them very impressive uh you know i i'm a musician myself i you know we used to play together actually um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and uh, this, uh, you know, it's it's a lot more polished, right? Um, which which makes it possible then also 
to have this quality, this certain quality that in life playing, um, you know, it, it's different. It's different. It's different. It's, uh, I enjoy to do it, uh, but uh, of course, uh, I enjoy it if I know that uh, it's not the, <laughs> the only way to play music. Of course, yeah. uh, uh, it's uh, one option and uh, I like it. So I, I think all the, the musicians uh, learn a lot from this period and also guitar teachers and the music teachers uh, uh, will learn a lot. And I think after this period that I, I hope will end as soon as possible, uh, I think we will have, uh, we will, we will, we will develop some skill that we will use also in normal life. Right, so let's talk about the last snippet. And this is from the Euronews article as well. And it's about um, the help that musicians can get um, from different governments. Um, across Europe, government aid to musicians has been a mixed bag. Berlin generated positive headlines in March when it distributed 500 million to freelancers, including musicians and artists, in just four days. Have you um, experienced any help, any support from uh, the Polish government or the Italian government or the European uh, Union for that matter uh, to, to help you sustain your, um, your livelihood? Actually not personally because I recently moved here uh, after uh, a long uh, period on uh, I was working as a guitar player on uh, cruise ships so uh, um, it's long time that I'm not in Italy uh, as a musician and I recently moved here so I didn't have access to the help but I know that uh, uh, there are musicians here that uh, they get help and uh, they get help uh, as um, the people that I know they were they are teaching in, in um, private schools of music and I know that they, they got some help like uh, something like 2000 Swati something like this for uh, three months, I think, uh, like April, May and June. Uh, where do you see, that's last question, let's top it off with, with one, one more question. Um, where do you see kind of like the, the, the summer going? Uh, do you think things will open up? Do you, do, do you think that uh, maybe you'll be playing some beach bars? Um... Yeah, I'm pretty positive about that. I see that uh, now everything is uh, reopening and uh, I think as always, like after uh, not easy moments, not easy situation, there will be much more energy, much more enthousi enthusiasm to meet people, to uh, organize events, to share uh, music uh, and, uh, and everything. So I'm very, I'm pretty positive and uh, I think there will be, there will be chance to play in uh, beach bars because they, they are, they already contact us and we are discussing about uh, details. So I hope in uh, already in June uh, we, we will be able to play live music. Great. All right, so look out for Espresso Doppio and Luigi Leoni and Michal Dasik and friends. Thank you, Luigi, for being on the show and I hope to see you soon in real life. Thank you very much, Daniel, for hosting and see you soon. See ya. Oh